Hello guys, today we're going to be working on this GE French door refrigerator. The model number is on the display. Welcome to DIY Repair Now. Read all the warnings. And during this video, you will see one or more of these icons to help you do this repair safe. The complaint that we have with this refrigerator is that it's not cooling properly on the refrigerator side. So what we're going to do is we're gonna go ahead and find out why it's not cooling on the refrigerator compartment. We're gonna remove this first drawer and I'm gonna explain to you later on in this video how it goes back in place because it's kind of a um, little bit complicated to put it back in place. We're gonna remove everything from the refrigerator section, especially the bottom. You don't have to remove the whole, everything from the top. You'll see it in a minute. Once you remove uh, from the things from that section, you're gonna remove this panel. Be careful because the glass is just sitting on it. So if you not be careful, that glass is gonna fly away. I put it there and I was a little um, scared that that glass might fell off. So I remove it later on in this video, you'll see that. Take pictures before you remove anything. That way you remember how everything was. And those pictures will um, help you and guide you if you have to remove any harness as you're gonna see in this um, footage. Because this panel has some digits there in some settings. So you have to remove the harness. It's very self-explanatory. I just find very useful when see that's a clip on just you know press and release um, the clip and it will uh, come loose as you see it, this glass like i said is just sitting on top so that glass might you know come off or if it fails it can break so i just gonna sit it on the floor that way i know if it goes it's already on the floor then it's not gonna go to the floor now we remove this panel and as you see we already start seeing little pieces of ice in the back Another thing that this video might help you is if you are, if you have water or a block of ice in the bottom, that is the uh, fan motor, what, is, what I just disconnected. And as you see, it's uh, ice there. That's an indication that maybe the fan motor is not coming on. Just remove all six screws that is holding this panel that I'm working on right now. There's one more screw that I missed. You'll see later on, I will remove it. Now I have an steamer here to help me defrost everything. That's why you see everything blurry because the steamer is doing his job. Sorry for the footage, but it's no way to avoid uh, this steam when the steamer is doing his job. Now we'll remove one, one quarter screws from this panel. Remember, is ice behind these panels because the fan motor look like it's not working so sometimes these panels are a little bit hard to remove and right there i'm just hitting a little bit to try to break it from the ice but you will see it later on how i you know put the steamer on this um, brackets panels however you want to call it here's the other one the same thing one quarter screws is only one screw on the front in some models you might have one one i mean more than one screw but in this panels is only one and then in the back is a male to female connection there which i'm going to show you in a little bit as you see there's ice attaching each other in the back and that's why it's kind of hard to remove those panels maybe you're not going to have the same issue but just in case Go ahead and put a steamer or a hair dryer. As you see, it came loose already. There's the male to female connection like I was telling you about. And we're gonna remove this one and put it out of the way. Like I said, if you don't own a steamer, you can use a hair dryer, but just be careful. Don't put too much heat because you can melt the cabinet because it's made out of plastic. There's the other one. As you saw, I put the steamer right on it to defrost the ice. Uh, be prepared for water to spill down because like I said sometimes there's ice and you are melting as you see there's a piece of ice there you know just put it on the sink or anywhere 
where it's not going to damage anything or it's not going to go to your wooden floor or you don't want a pot of water on the floor and like i was telling you guys if you have water sitting where you see that towel like if it's a block of ice there this might this video might help you to fix that issue too because that means you have a drain line clogged so this video help you with those two things however i got more than one video uh with very similar on this model and in this case i'm going to show you how to unclog or i'm going to point it out if you have a drain clog problem this is the last screw that i was telling you about it's a total of six screws and now as you see where i put the steamer because i put the steamer now it's coming loose and as you see that fan motor is not spinning still a little bit attached so i'm just gonna put some more heat but i can see already that that fan motor is not spinning whatsoever um, like i was telling you guys i have more than one video with a very similar model and then if, if this attachment is not it doesn't look like yours just go to my channel and search for uh, um as you see that fan motor is not spinning at all it's trying to spin but it's not spinning at all be careful because that fan has uh some very sharp uh blades and it can literally cut your finger at, at once i touched those blades by mistake and it, it cut my finger really really good so just try not to put your hand in those blades here is the old fan motor and like i was telling you guys i have more than one video with a similar uh, fan motor but it's it's it, the housing is a little bit different so if you have a, a model there is a, a different attachment just go to my channel and search for a ge fan motor replacement on a french door refrigerator you see i got like more 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 than one like two or three videos about uh, replacing this fan motor and this is the first time that i see this particular attachment which i found that they, this is a newer model but they're making more difficult again be careful with those blades as you see the the new fan motor is working fine and as you see i'm not putting my fingers on the blade i'm putting it on the middle to stop the fan but don't do that because like i said it will cut your finger really really bad so uh, now this is the what i was telling you about this attachment um i don't know what they were thinking but the other the other housing the other attachment was more easy um to replace this fan motor in this case they went for good to worse i don't know what they were thinking but i found that this is a kind of not good way to put this fan motor there especially because it goes bad like every every two to three years and as you see i'm just putting the um this piece of rubber from in, from one fan to the other this is a very durable rubber because i pull it really hard that's the only way to do it i was trying to be careful with it but again you have to pull it really hard to make it go in place as you see right there then i was like man it, there is another there's no other way to do it and you just put it through the hole and then pull it in the other side to make it go in place which like i said this makes it a little bit more uh, complicated and make you think that you're going to break those rubbers or maybe over time you will i mean in this case this is a fairly new refrigerator and that's the reason why i'm saying that maybe they went for okay to worse because um the other fan that i've been working a lot as you see it's two taps in here you just put it in in those slacks and also the bottom you have to pull it um as i was saying and the a little older models the fin was more easy to replace than this new recently uh, a newer model so i don't know ge making things complicated for us and for homeowners they are doing um the repairs themselves this is the drain line that i was telling you about if that drain line is clogged with ice or any gunk or any you know pieces of food or whatever 
just try to pour some water there into you see the water goes down the drain if the water is not going down the drain go ahead and go to the back of the refrigerator and unclog the drain line from the back of the refrigerator by the compressor I, I don't have that footage on this video but again I have plenty of videos that show you how to do that in my channel so if you have a drain line problem and you pour some hot water down the drain and it's still not getting unclogged just go to my channel and search for that video and that video told you um, exactly what to do by first trying to unclog it from inside here and if that doesn't work you will go to the back of the refrigerator remove the back panel by the compressor you will see two drain pipes one for the freezer and one for the refrigerator compartment and you will remove those tubes and make sure they are unclogged because sometimes they get clogged in the back now we connect the uh, new fan motor this has a little piece of tape in the other motor it was a strap that always breaks and this is how the cover goes back in place very self-explanatory and now we are installing all six screws that holds this um, evaporator cover I'm using the drill, but you can use a, you know, one quarter screwdriver, hand screwdriver. Um, if you're using a drill, just try not to over tie this um, screws because it can damage your cabinet and or it can strip and then it's not gonna grab anymore. However, it's hard for that to happen because it's just plastic. Um, this is the old fan motor, as you see, it's kind of hard to, to make a spin. And this fan is not good anymore. Some people, you know, will spin it until it start working and it will, it will work again for a few days, but eventually it's going to stop. And then you have another day with bad food and bad milk and you don't want that to happen. If you want to uh, um, get this fan motor, it's going to be a link in the description of this video. So just go there and you'll be able to order it through that link on Amazon Repair Clinic or any other source that we are gonna put it in the description of this video now we're gonna go ahead and put this panel back on now we don't have any steam so we can see really good and make sure the harness sticks out on this side this is the only side that it has a harness so the other side you don't have to worry about it as you see in this footage there's my other GoPro my other GoPro camera that it's on the way where I record vertical videos for other platforms like TikTok. Then we're gonna secure those panels with the one quarter screws. Yeah, like I'm saying, uh, I had that camera to record videos for Instagram and TikTok uh, because those platforms are vertical videos. So now we're gonna install this uh, cover. And remember this one has the um, harness connection just make sure it clips in place and it's secure in place and also make sure it's inside the hole because otherwise it's not going to let you put the panel right in place as you see right there make sure it's in that way the panel goes in place then it's like a male to female connection and the in the corners too so just make sure it sits the way it's supposed to now we're going to install these two one quarter screws. Now we're going to go ahead and install um, this uh, panel. And this one, it just sits in place. You will feel that in your hand when it sits where it's supposed to. Now we're gonna put the left and right. As you see, one side has a has an angle there, so you will know which one is for left and which one is for right. Again, take pictures before you remove everything, and those pictures will help you and it will make your life easier. Now this one is the one I was telling you at the beginning, where I didn't remove the stuff from there, so it was kind of playing with me, but. Um, 
if you're doing this and it's giving you a hard time just make sure to remove everything from it and you know push it in the reason why I, I regret not to remove this stuff is because when you push it in it have to be angle straight to be able to you know go all the way to the back and you'll be able to pull this bracket back as you see right there that bracket have to sit in a hole at the end of this um, trade you will see it in a minute and I will show you in the pictures as you see it sits right there and that's how you know when you got it I'll show you one side but you just got to do the same thing in both sides if this help if this video helped you in any way please consider to leave a tip thanks for watching